Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' Miss Cracking It's D. Boss React to this vid by JBM Fargo. Shout out to the, the viewer who sent me this because I've been asking this question for a long time. <laughs> this is titled, Why Playback Abandon Their Audience? Agent 00 in Low. I have asked this damn near every time I've seen the agent. Like, what happened with playback? Because I used to react to them all the time. And, you know, I, I was wondering what occurred. Like, why did they just get rid of the, the channel? It was doing well and everything. So, yeah, it's, it's a mystery. But, but I guess we're about to find out. Let's watch. The playback channel was a YouTube channel featuring the duo of Agent Double Zero and Legend of Winning, oh, aka yeah. Low. These two will post commentary videos on a variety of subjects. From that's TikTok what that stood for? Legend of Winning. Generates to any crazy I thing. I thought it was low because, like, he goes low. <laughs> you know, after the whole Kroger situation, I was like, oh, that, anyway. In the streaming slash internet community. They were pretty that's consistent right. as far as producing content, but as time went on, they suddenly stopped uploading. So what exactly Yay. happened? Well, I'm here to give you as close to an answer. People did tell me that Let's get it. Asian was the The history blame, of Asian and how. Lowe's friendship goes back to a little bit before Asian's early YouTube days, specifically around 2013, 2014. Asian was on a podcast called the AO Podcast, which is a crazy name, by the way, where they would stream from Skype to YouTube. Lowe started off as a graphic designer until Asian eventually brought him on as a guest one day. And the rest is history. Hey, so uh, I remember when we was doing an AO podcast. It was like me, Waffle Man. There's a few other people on Blanking. I don't remember because we rotated so many groups of people. And so on this old podcast, we used to have what guests on the show. I remember on one of the podcasts, I was like, yo, we're looking for a guest. But then we, I didn't really know many people. So I was relying on like the people watching to be the guests. Mm -hmm. Earlier than that, bro, it was like 2014, 13. Yeah, probably, you probably right. Probably um, so anyway, this podcast is going on. I see a tweet, and keep in mind, my, my Twitter was slow as So if you sent me a tweet that day, I would see it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Lowe sent me, I forgot what it was, but it was like this uh, AO podcast with like, it had like a giraffe graphic or something like that. It was a thumbnail. Okay, and it was f***ing creative. It was the most creative thing i seen in a minute. Um, and so I was like, oh, snap. So then I clicked on your page, um, and I think you had some videos live on your channel, just some, you did like way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was like, oh, okay, so this guy kind of knows what he's talking about, and he's not like, we're not gonna have him on the podcast if you have nothing to contribute, right? Yeah. So then you were guests on the podcast, and then Fact. back then I just, I had no human skills, so I didn't, I, no cap, I told, uh, I remember telling tell him off and then, and then this dude, I was like, I don't know how to tell this guy that he's not gonna come on for another podcast, but we already added you to the Skype chat. So we couldn't then get rid of you. Facts. <laughs> so, Ooh, facts. so we just kind of kept you for a, another podcast and then no, nobody wanted to tell you to go away and you were kind of just coming back. So we were just like, every night we'd be on Skype That's chats wild. talking about, talking shit about 2K or talking about videos. Mm -hmm. um, and it was like maybe four or five of us. Though the two had separate channels, they would collaborate from time to time with Lo having cameos on Agent's 2K videos. In late January 2020, Agent and Lo would upload the first episode of the Peer to Peer podcast, which I refer to as Peer to Peer for short. Their third attempt at starting a podcast, according to Agent. We're starting a new podcast. For those of you guys who've been following us for a while, you know we had a podcast last year. And then if you've been following us for a very long time, you know we had a podcast like four years ago. It's our day, it's our annual ritual we'll where we be stop abandoning the podcast stuff, and start a new one. Okay. Um, so we had like an odd launch for it. We dropped a couple episodes on all the other platforms, but we didn't drop them on YouTube. And so this is going to be a YouTube exclusive. So you're not going to be able to see this on any other platform, guys. And this podcast was actually solid, discussing all types of current events. And they even invited notable Sneeko guests on there from the likes of every member of AMP, to your Rage, Sneeko, and even mm -hmm. Gideon. Peer to Peer was loved for many reasons. And I can honestly say that even though I didn't tune into every single podcast episode, I think the podcast was very well produced. For <laughs> Now, around the same time that Peer to Peer was hitting its stride, Agent and Lowe launched the Playback channel. Like I said earlier, the premise of the channel was basically reacting to anything interesting they came across, hence the name of the channel, Playback. The original idea for the channel was to stand out a I'm bit, like mixing commentary. IRL or competitive videos with normal reactions. This direction was scrapped, and they just opted to do reactions. Now, these reactions were really entertaining. I'm not going to lie. I will watch these when I'm eating. But I'm just sitting there chilling, editing a video. I think people use those uh, terms, like they, they interchange the, the two terms, but there's a distinct difference. And they definitely were veering more towards the commentary side. Um, like I even think what Abba and Preach does is commentary, but some people will think they're a reaction channel. They'll be like, you reacting to a reaction? I'm just like, sure, they're reacting to what they're seeing, but they, they give an overview about what's happening and they do way more talking than they actually do showing a video, 
with the reaction, the, the video that you watch is pretty much on the screen the entire time. And you'll take breaks and talk, sure, but you're mainly just reacting to to what you see. And a lot of times you go in blind. I go in blind with every single one of my reactions. Unless I, I've heard of some, you know, small details about a particular topic. But a lot of the time, I don't know what the fuck is happening. I'm just like, what? <laughs> but that's never what Playback did. Every single video, well, the ones that I watched, they were they already had... Uh, an understanding of what what they were talking about and they've already done a level of research and they will give us an overview and that's exactly what Abbott and Preach does as well so I, I think there's a very distinct difference but I feel like people just put them in the same category something bro I ain't gonna lie they came through for me that's really saying a lot because I really don't watch any content that's not somewhat thought provoking or entertaining as a direct result of the success of AMP and peer to peer, playback grew to over half a million subscribers, posting yeah, consistently. Good. And this is where things started to change. In December of 2022, Loa would get exposed by his ex yes. on Twitter for cheating on her four times with four different women. Wait, wait, wait. Did I see all these tweets? Subscribers posting consistently. And wait, this, this can't be why they. In December, they stopped. But she said this, I don't even know the man I've been with for over two years. Just remember to never put shit past someone, ever. I stayed quiet before to protect you, but since you bold enough to keep cheating, be bold enough to take it. You only crying now because you got caught. She left her hair on our bathroom counter. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known. Dirty. Oop. I was genuine. You will never find another woman like me. I loved you unconditionally, and you ruined it for a girl from Kroger. SMH. <laughs> I will not let this get me into another depression. Damn, I am too good of a woman. Now you want to cry and claim you love me. That's bullshit. You didn't love me when you were with her in our home. How you cheat on someone four times and claim to love them? Wasted two and a half years of my life. I'm single. I, I don't remember reading all those, bro. His ex on Twitter for cheating on her four times with four different women, which he admitted to in a tweet of his own. I wasn't too hip to the situation on her four times with four different women which he admitted to him not gonna lie there's been so much going on on the internet that i hate that we ended playback oh he's a tweet of his own i wasn't too hip to the situation at the time all i kept seeing was memes of low at kroger and people Ooh. saying that he went four for four comparing it to jordan going six for six in the finals niggas even called him legend of kroger bro <laughs> like these were wild oh, times a lot of people roasted low for a while and <laughs> even to this day but let's be real niggas really don't care about a content creator they watch cheating on their woman now obviously if it was a woman doing what low did the opinion would be different a few weeks after this situation on January 6th, 2023... I think people... It's not like they really care what's going on in this personal life per se, but it, it, it contradicted... His his lifestyle contradicted some of the things that he would say. Like, so it was like, wait, wait, wait. You, you made these comments on playback about how, you know, this other person shouldn't be doing X, Y, Z, but you over here don't... You know, so it was like, wait, you a hypocrite. So I think that's why people really was like making a big deal out of it. I feel like I even pointed out some things where I'm just like, wait, what? <laughs> How you gonna say that when you was at Crook, you know? And Lowe would announce the end of Peer to Peer after 258 episodes. In this last episode, while they're saying their goodbyes, Lowe takes the time to address the cheating situation. Yo, um, yeah, so a couple weeks ago, um, my, my now ex put out a tweet um, kind of highlighting and exposing me as a cheater. And I'm, I'm here now to um, tell the rest of the world that yes, I am. I cheated, man. I cheated. I am a cheater. I don't agree with it. My stance on cheating still hasn't changed. I think cheating is bad. I don't, I don't, I, that's, that's not, that's not You can't either. condemn others for cheating though when you're doing the same thing. So I think that's what people were like, wait. I just believe I made bad decisions. That's four it. Times? Four times? That's all it is. Four times, yeah. It was four times? Four times. The same, the same girl or different girls? Different girls, different women. It was not um, a Kroger associate, but I don't really think any of that really matters. Why People also ask me why I cheated. That also doesn't really matter at all because it's just bad decisions. It's not the um, right thing to do. And so I don't want people to think that like there's a way to justify it or anything like that. The whole argument of like, how do you, how can you criticize people? Everybody, everybody is human. Everybody makes mistakes. I don't, I don't want to be pegged as a perfect person. Like I just don't want to be perfect. Want, if, you, if you're trying to criticize me to be a perfect person, please stop like right now. Oh. And a reason, also the reason why to stop that as well is because it comes along with the criticism because if that's the case like i don't i don't i personally trust me i really don't care nor mind the um criticism critiques that come in my comment section and replies all the time i don't mind it why is like and you want to lie the reason why I don't is because <laughs> I really come along with being a person 
and that comes along with mistakes. So people are going to criticize me. So that's also fine as well, bro. We all make bad mistakes. We all, you know, I mean, we facts. all understand what's uh, what's right and wrong. It's not really about you making a mistake or making a bad decisions. It's you trying to grow and bounce back from those bad decisions that you made. As for why peer to peer ended, agent speaks on it on stream a short time after, citing no, him and I'm everyone serious. involved prioritizing other things in life, like agent working on AMP's videos on top of growing his own brand. I mean, At the sure. end of the day, I just couldn't handle all the priorities on my plate. I'm not gonna lie to you, but it's not just a podcast, even in my personal life. Like there's times where my mom can't even get a hold of me and I feel bad. Once you take a step back from content, it hits you like there's so many other things that matter. Yeah, and fine. sometimes you can't forget about those things because they're also really important. At the end of the day, those are the most important things. At the end of the day, the he podcast was fun much. to do. It's just on the list of priorities, I wasn't giving it the attention it deserved, nor was anybody else. Everybody had a priority that was more important than peer-to-peer, -peer, and you can tell by the way we were executing, because even if you enjoyed the podcast, I'm sure you've seen podcasts where you're like, damn, how the f*** did they let this slip? So I never had any intention for the pod to end, but um, we tried to go it as much as we could. But in all reality, any time I spent on the podcast was time I wasn't spending on AMP. And a &P is demanding. It's time I wasn't spending on stream. The stream is demanding. It was time I wasn't spending on many other things that I could have been spending my time on. And it just felt like I was half the well, Playback that though took way less time, I feel like. And I know even though the podcast did good, it could have done great had any one of us been able to give it that attention. I know a lot of y'all probably asking, what does low cheating have to do with playback not uploading? Nothing crazy, but to fans of the channel, this scandal made them see Lowe as hypocritical. Lowe's opinions on relationships and women came across as someone who's big on loyalty and bashes promiscuity. He even said on video that he didn't think he could cheat on a woman that he's with, so I can understand where a lot of these fans are coming from. I think I could do that, because like you legitimately took advantage of me being genuine, like you just sat there and said. Yeah. Like, I was genuine, I trusted you, and you just took advantage of that to participate in a whole nother relationship. Trash. I, I, I couldn't do that. Another theory and that I want to sort of debunk is about agent this is a mistake. Low cheating. This is really far fetched Wait, because it's to participate in a whole nother relationship. No, I, I I couldn't do that. Another theory that I saw that I want to sort of debunk is about agent distancing himself because low cheating. This is really far fetched yeah, because nah. the two seem cool after the fact, continuing to make videos well, until why would the agent of this get year that before that's, going that's radio stupid. silent. I think this is a case of two friends who once collaborated all the time just going to do their own thing. Low runs two channels of his own on top of hosting events on an app called Playback, while Agent is still an AMP producing content on top of streaming and keeping up with his own reaction channel. Playback was good for what it was, and if it is the end, I hope they But it seems like he was referring more to the podcast, which was peer-to-peer. -peer. That's different than Playback. Playback was just them giving commentary on, like, you know, pop culture and, like, current events. So it didn't sound like he was referring to playback or did I miss something? He kept saying the podcast, the podcast, the podcast was peer to peer. Playback was the YouTube channel. Or was he just talking about both? Sometime in the future for one last run. But let me know what you guys think. Maybe he was talking about both. And I'm sure that uh, what he described can be applied to playback as well as the podcast. Like those same, you know, things that he listed off is like uh it being you know low low priority and him having other things to do i'm sure that applied when it came to playback as well but like i said like i feel like a commentary channel it, it wouldn't take that much time versus a podcast a podcast you've seen there for hours like i watch a lot of different podcasts and it's like an hour and a half minimum per episode so that's a much bigger uh obligation time wise but Playback, like you could do like a 10 minute video on the topic, you know? <laughs> but I don't know. I guess they just wasn't fucking with it. So it is what it is. But I, I do miss the, the YouTube channel. I enjoyed it. Y'all let me know what y'all think though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!